guys, it's me, and it is, what day is today? Tuesday afternoon, and I had so many questions about my skincare, about Obagi, that I thought I would record myself taking off my makeup and doing my nighttime skincare. Boy, it's echoey in here. I shut the door to keep Chanel out. <laughs> but maybe it will not be as echoey if I don't shut that door. Anyway, I'm over here on John's side because I think we, there she is. Come here, come here. Say hello to everybody. Say hello, say hello. Chicken feet, say she can't stand it. Oh goodness, she's a special kitty. <laughs> I thought I would take you through the Obagi skincare. This is the Obagi New Derm System. I kept this just to talk to you guys about it. It's what inside that counts. So, like I said, I have done this. I went through this before I even started YouTube. And it was because I had melasma. I had a mustache, I had a place right here, I had a place right here, and it was just one of those things where every day when I was putting on my makeup, I had to put concealer on those spots before I even did my makeup. And then I heard about the Obagi. It was from my friend Brandy, and she had melasma like this. It went like that, and it kind of went down, almost like she was crying on both sides. So I ended up doing it and I loved it. And I've done it, I think maybe one or two times since. And it's just the nature of this YouTube world and my nature to always want to try new things, but it just seems like I do always come back to what works and this works. So when I went to have a consultation about getting an IPL, they suggested that I do the Abaji New Derm, just the trial or the travel size, and then wait until I am not tan anymore, I'm not in the sun, because when you do an IPL, you wanna be your whitest white or pretty white because the intense pulsed light, what it does is it hits the dark spots and kind of breaks them up and then they flake up to the top. So if you're tan, it won't be able to target the dark spots as much. So that is what I'm doing. I've been on it, I would say four weeks, probably four weeks. I'll try to find out for sure. I'll see if I can see when I paid for it. And I just ran out of the, I'm almost out of the cleanser and I'm out of the toner. So I went yesterday and bought a new cleanser and a new toner. Now, this is prescription strength. You have to get this, what I'm using, from a doctor or a med spa that is under doctor's care or physician's assistant. So a lot of you may not be able to get this because in some states, I think Texas might be like this, you cannot get hydroquinone 4%. And that is what, between the hydroquinone and the Whatever acid is in the Exoderm Forte and then the Retin-A, I tell you, those three things together will blast anything off of your face. I'm not gonna be able to link it below. Now you can, matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and order this next time. I was out, so I couldn't order it. I had to go in there. But I want to go ahead and order another toner and the Foaming gel cleanser is the one I like. They do have more of a gentle creamy cleanser that's geared more towards like dry and real sensitive skin, but I love this. When you see me use it, you'll see why. And it smells so good and it's just, I don't know what makes it like a nostalgic thing to me, but when I smell these smells, it just feels good. And it might be just because it worked so well. I will link everything you can get. And I think I even saw I was looking at Derm Store, which is very reputable. I think I even saw the Exoderm Forte on there, and that is some strong stuff. I don't know exactly. Okay, let's see. It's got alpha hydroxy acid because it's given a sunburn warning, but it probably has something else in there too because you can feel the zing a little bit sometimes, but you won't be able to get the clear. This has the 4% hydroquinone, if you see it online, make sure it isn't the 
it'll say something like Obagi New Term New Derm FX or something like that, and that means they're using a an alternate. They're building like right next door. It's like I can see the reflection of a guy in the shower. So if you think you see someone, that's it. Okay, so let's get started. Transform the look of your skin with the number one physician dispensed skincare system. With the Abashi Nuderm system, you're on your way to healthier looking, younger skin. Now you can correct unwanted age spots with a clinically proven hyperpigmentation system that significantly lightens and transforms the look of your skin. With daily use of Abashi Nuderm plus 1% retinol, I'm using Rafisa Retin-A, Patients saw significant improvement in hyperpigmentation, skin tone and texture, big time, and the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Okay, and it says the 1% retinol sold separately. Okay, so here are some examples. See how it makes their skin look just so shiny and plump? Transform the look of your skin at every phase. So remove, restart, refresh, restore, retain. And let's see, phase one, okay, it's in phases. Phase one, weeks one to six is remove. Products begin working together to help promote skin cell turnover. Your, these are the results. Your skin should begin to adapt to the system. You may experience mild to moderate itching, dryness, and redness. You may begin to notice more even tone appearance of your skin. The top layer of the skin is exfoliated, removing dull old skin cells to help promote new skin cells. Okay, phase two, I guess I'm getting ready to get into, would be restart. New skin cells are produced, pigment cells are distributing melanin more evenly. The results are your skin is now adjusting to the system and you may notice smoother, softer skin. Skin is becoming more even, even toned. Okay, and then phase three, which would be weeks 13 to 18, skin cells are turning over, your skin is becoming clearer, firmer looking, naturally hydrated, and more evenly toned. I have really noticed the natural hydration for sure. Okay, phase four, which is, you know, continued results with proper maintenance. Healthy looking skin is maintained, your skin looks restored, more even toned, resilient, radiant skin, Phase five, with proper skin maintenance, condition-based personalized recommendations. They do not want you to stay on the hydroquinone forever. You're supposed to just kind of like go through this system and then your doctor will create a maintenance program for you. And I will have to stop doing this, I don't know how long, I think like a week before I get my IPL done because it makes your skin like extra sensitive. So, here we go opened up a new pack of my whites here, which they haven't been turned over, so it's dry. And I'm gonna go ahead, oh, I need to put my hair up, hold on. This is True Blue too, I've had this makeup on since, I had to get out of here early this morning. I've had this makeup on since eight o'clock, and you can't see it all, but I've had this lip liner and everything on too since then. This is my lip liner that's getting ready to come out and it's going to look so good on every one of you. And I put my hair back. And I will say, I used to dread doing my skincare because I never could get in a groove of what to do. And it is so nice. It's kind of like when you're working out at the gym and you don't have a routine. You know how like you'll just go in there and you'll just kind of walk around and then you might have kind of formed a routine, but then there's somebody on that machine, so you just skip it and you just leave and you just don't feel fulfilled. That's kind of how I was with my skincare. It's like I could not find a groove. I kept, you know, thinking everything was good and then something would irritate my skin so bad. And so that's one thing I like about it is it's a routine and I love that. Start taking, oh, my eyelashes. I think this is their last day. They've got a lot of buildup on them. Sorry for the noise. But anyway, what I was saying is, now I don't dread taking off my makeup and doing my skincare because I feel good about it and what I'm doing. So, like I said, I just kind of take off the bulk of everything with this. 
and I buy these little cheap little white washcloths and I use two every time. I use one, you'll see in a minute, and then I have one just to wipe my hands and stuff. Okay, the little travel size will come in this bag, so I always just get it out. And so the first thing is the foaming cleanser. And it's pink and it's just about that much. Usually I bend down, but I'm gonna try to do it up. It smells super fresh. And like I said, I really shampoo out my eyelashes and get all in my hairline. And run it down my neck. Try to get the, this is why I buy the cheap ones. Okay, now take a cotton pad with the toner. And the toner restores skin's pH balance. I need to get some more. Colleen has the best cotton pads. These are just some cheap ones I grabbed from either Walmart or wherever I was, but this feels so good. So I go all over. And then I go down my neck. And I do bring everything down my neck. I don't put on like extra, you know, on my neck, I just bring everything down. Typically what I do, I'm doing this early today. We haven't even eaten dinner yet. I think it's like 4.30. But typically what I would do now is probably, I don't know, something that I have to do, like brush my teeth or just go do something and then, you know, let this dry a little bit, come back, and then it's time to put on, and see how they're all numbered. Foaming gel, you do AM and PM, and it's your number one step. I remember stressing over that in the beginning of what to do when. This is the toner. It's your number two step, and you do this AM and PM. Then your number three step is your clear. You do that AM and PM. This is the hydroquinone. And I usually do about that much. And kind of spread it out and then rub it in. Now I had several of you ask, you know, what did I do when your face starts peeling? I mean, do I use a moisturizer? No, that's the key. You don't want to use a moisturizer. You want to let that peel off. And it's when it first started, it was like pieces of paper. It was so big. Like one day I was at my mom's and I said, look at that. And it was just like a big white piece of skin. But the beauty of this skincare system, I have never experienced. And I have tried the Zoe, which is Dr. Obagi's new skincare. I could not get that to work. I could not get it not to just obliterate my skin. I, I called the company. I think three times to try to talk to someone so that I could learn how to use their skincare and I could tell you guys about it. And I just, I could never get anyone to talk to me and I could never get it to work. So I just went back to this. Step number four is only in the morning. It's AM only. See how there's not a PM and it's the Exoderm Forte. So we're going to use that in the morning. But at night, we're going to use five and we you know, see how there's no AM, there's just PM. This is Blender. This is the neatest product. This also has the hydroquinone in it. Yeah, hydroquinone in it. And so you just get a little bit, like about that much. And on the instructions, I think it even shows you, because I think they say P size, yeah, that's the measuring. Oh, I got this wet too. That is the measuring amount. I don't have as much room over here. So the beauty of Blender is you blend it with your Retin-A or your Retinol, whatever your doctor tells you to take with it because this is a one heck of a combination here. The way the first girl described it to me and I put about that much of my Rafisa, which is 0.05 
tretinoin cream. So, and then I take them and I just blend them like this and spread it out. But the way she described this to me is the Retin-A takes, what she say? It takes it, all the things you've put on, including that hydroquinone, and take, like puts it in a backpack and takes it down deep into your skin and really gets it going. So that is it. And then, so now I just take everything, you know, pack it back up and put it back underneath my sink. And I will see you guys in the morning. Now we are gonna do my morning Obagi New Derm, New Derm routine. And typically I would have done this at about 6.30. I wake up well at 7, so typically what I do is I get up at 5.30, I do my upstairs stuff, you know, to get my day started until 6.30, I come downstairs, I wash my face, brush my teeth, throw on something to take him to school, even if it's just my robe and shoes, <laughs> and then I wake him up, then I come back and get ready for the day, but today... I couldn't do that because John sleeps usually until I get back from taking Will. Usually he gets up while I'm gone and I didn't want to be in here talking while he was trying to sleep. So I've got my skincare kit out. I'm on John's side and of course Chanel is here. Yes, Chanel is here. Yeah. And I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to put my hair in a ponytail. I really do like these things. They don't look like much, but they're the ones that I got from Ulta. So I don't like to brush my hair when I'm doing a ponytail. I just kind of like to do a messy one. So let's see how it goes. I was gonna do a high one. I do like use my fingers. It's just, um, I don't want it too fixed looking. I want to do a high one today. I think I do my high ones better when I'm bent over. Hold on. Okay, I was pulling it up even higher. Yeah, like that. And then I'm going to take... Okay, typically I don't like using one this big. I like one that's more... Um, it's a little bit more low profile, but that's still will keep my hair up. Oh my gosh, this takes me back to my waitressing days. I used to love to hot roll my hair and then put it up in a banana clip. So the curls came down, that was my favorite style. Okay, so, mm, you gotta be brave to do this. But you can see all the places, even like I had a little place up here that was flaky this morning. Yep, I just flaked it off. And so you can see my skin looks a little irritated. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and wash. You can see it. I noticed I left a lot of mascara in my eyelashes. I think it's because, one, I'm doing this on camera, so it's not completely normal. And two, my wipes weren't turned upside down, so they weren't very wet. Okay, the washcloth and kind of go over my face. You can see how red it's getting. And I meant to tell you this last night. What is so unique about the Abaji is my skin is constantly peeling, but it comes off. It isn't like that lacy peel that ruins your makeup. Every day after you wash your face in the morning, you'll see. Let me get my eyes real good. Make sure there's no mascara left. But you can see how it just takes off all, right, there's that spot now. That was something that needed to go like this. And it's like no skin 
is there. You will not see any flakes until like late afternoon. And then you'll start to see a little bit of like breakup, like on your chin and like over here. And like that spot's probably gonna have some. And like that's even been itching. And like a spot up here. I guess it's just, you know, where your skin is built up. And so now we're gonna do the toner. I like plenty of toner because it really does, it feels good in the mornings. It kind of rebalances your skin. It doesn't really moisturize, but it does kind of soothe it. Make it feel better. Morning and night is the clear. That has the hydroquinone. Skin bleaching and corrector cream is what it's called. So, if you were to leave this upside down, it would be better, but I kind of like being able to put it in that bag and put it away. Okay, so about that much. And you know how there's no moisturizer really in this at all, in this version, but this kind of must have something in it because it kind of does make your skin feel moisturized. Whatever base they've got the, but it rubs right in. Like right now it's starting to feel tacky. And I would not have put my hair up in a ponytail to do my skincare. I just did that so that you could see my whole face. Number four, AM, see there's no PM, is the Exvoderm Forte. Now this one, right now it doesn't bother me that bad, but when I originally did this, I had so much pigmentation and so much peeling that when I put this on, boy, it lit me up. It really does have a zing to it. But now, it doesn't bother me that much. I don't have that much going on. Um, this has really helped like on the side of my nose. So, like right now. Okay, yeah, that's zinging a little bit. I've gotten rid of so much of that, those little bumps that have like nothing in them over there. And see, when I get the IPL, I'll have even more correction, even in the redness, because this doesn't really handle capillaries or anything. And then I run everything down my neck. It does come with the matte sunscreen. I do not use this because I go straight into what I've been doing is, you know, like I would leave now. Then I would come back and I will put on, I've been using the Sisley Double Tensor and then the Estee Lauder Double Wear and put it back under my cabinet. And I think I'm gonna do my makeup and then I will check back with you. Hey, I'm back. Okay, I'm trying to figure out, and they're like banging, banging, banging on the house next door. So, what I thought I would do is I just put on my double wear, the Sisley, the double wear, and I'll list what I have on down below. Chanel heard me talking. But I thought I would put this on with you. This is that Sisley concealer. And, because you can see, this is about the only place that I really feel like I need a lot of coverage. So, what I do, oh my goodness, that was probably $10 worth. I usually just wait until I just barely see it come up. Get some. Oh, I bet John just came in. He just went to Walmart. And then he was going to the gym. So I usually just pat it in like that. And then I use the rest around my nose. Like that. Just like that much. This stuff will last you a lifetime. I'm going to put it right in that hollow, and then right in here. This just helps that shadow of that fold right there. 
like that. And okay, so I just wanted you to see. I'm using my iPhone, so. So, I mean, the texture's not perfect, but, you know, it's real. <laughs> it's real skin, and that's what I want. Okay, so let me put this up, and then I wanted to read you some more information. Okay, I noticed on the back of this little pamphlet that it really explained everything. Um, for the cleanser, you have the gentle cleanser that is for normal to dry, or the foaming gel, which is normal to oily. Gently removes makeup, everyday impurities for fresh, clean complexion. Massage a small amount of cleanser and water onto the skin. Rinse with lukewarm water and gently pat dry. Okay, that's one thing I wanted to say too. I'm gonna to have a million people come out of the woodwork and tell me all the things I'm doing wrong. You have to do what you want to do. If people are asking me about my skincare, I have to show you, I can't just show you what I think you want to see or what is supposed to be right. I want to show you what I really do. So. Okay, the toner is alcohol-free. Non-drying toner helps adjust the skin's pH balance. Use after cleansing by saturating a cotton pad and gently wiping over the entire face. Do not rinse off. Clear, gentle yet effective prescription 4% hydroquinone helps correct age and sunspots for healthy, healthier looking more even skin tone. Squeeze a small amount, one to two pea-sized drops, one will be enough, onto your hands. Evenly apply into the entire face, extending to the hairline and over the ears. Okay, I don't put it on my ears. Exvoderm is for normal to dry. Exvoderm Forte is for normal to oily. A lightweight lotion helps exfoliate the top layer of skin, removing dull old skin cells to promote natural skin cell turnover for a brighter complexion. Squeeze a small amount, one to two pea-sized drops onto your hands using your fingertips. Apply evenly to entire face and massage until completely absorbed. Blender, remember we use that at night with the Retin-A or your Retinol. A formula containing 4% hydroquinone for the gradual lightening of age spots, sunspots, and other types of discoloration. Squeeze a small amount, one to two pea-sized drops onto your hands and apply evenly into the entire face. Okay, it didn't say to mix that, but that's what it's for, is to blend with. Obagi Hydrate, a moisturizing cream to be used as needed to soothe areas of dry, flaky skin. Apply a small amount evenly to the entire face. Okay, that is something new. I think that they brought on after Dr. Obagi sold this because in the beginning, there, this wasn't a thing, and I think his main premise was not overly hydrating your skin because then it just builds up, builds up, builds up. You kind of want it to reproduce and bounce back and keep doing that. So I would only do that if you have very sensitive skin. Maybe if you are a normal to dry person, maybe do that. And I wanted to show you this too, how it has like a little routine chart your doctor or med spa can fill that out for you and tell you exactly what to use. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Can't really do an outfit of the day. I'm just wearing a new Skims tee. I love it because most of the time when you get one of these fitted kind of, um, it's kind of like shapewear, I guess. When you get one of these, they are too short. This one, I could literally tuck it in if I wanted to. I will be getting another one because this is gonna come in really handy and just something I would love to throw on. And then these are the Tomcat jeans. And right now, I've just got on my Uggs, but I will probably put on those mules that I showed you the other day. I love them, they're super comfortable, and I love those, so that's probably what I'll put on. I've got on my Sheila Fajal hoops, my new little hoops. You guys, I'm so happy I got these. I cannot even feel them in my ears. I never take them out, shower or sleeping, and I love the size, so that is perfect. And I haven't put on rings yet. I don't know, I'm just gonna edit this video, get it ready to post tonight, and go run some more errands. So thank you so much for watching. 
and I will see you guys again on Friday. I've got lots of good stuff to show you. See you then. Bye-bye.